Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where we're gonna find Potiphar's on the ship that has that he's running away on and he's running away from us now that he knows that but <laughs> let's go so this is part of the crocodile mission and I, I kind of cut it off in a weird place last time but no not follow the road just, just go Whoa. Shit, you? are we what not supposed to be here kind of had that look for a second Maybe I'll... Oh, is it not moving? Oh, the boat's not moving. Okay. Whoa. I'll steal one of these. Oh, borrow, one. borrow. I'll oh. borrow one of these. Can I have it? Come my mix. Fine. I love all the vegetables on it. scary now they send the son of Egypt against me it has been a long time since I spilled so much blood I was sent by Polodorus uh, we share a common interest who are you and what do you want eh? I'm eh? Bayek Siwa. And I seek information on the crocodile. So cool looking. The phantom that has brought Fayum to its knees. What could you want with him? He belongs to a group that is destroying Egypt. I intend to hunt every last one of them down. Bayek of Siwa. You don't know what you are up against. The crocodile has transformed not only the land, but the people. Those who do not cower in fear are made to work for him. And you have no idea who the crocodile is? I stole a ledger from a Greek magistrate I suspect of corruption. It should reveal the identity of this crocodile. And if we get it to Apollodorus, we may be able to bring down the whole organization. Where's the ledger now? I gave it to my wife Henut to hide. As long as the Ptolemies think it's with me, my family is safe. That is why I have to stay on the move. Here. This will tell Henut you are a friend to be trusted. It is for my daughter, Shadia. Once you have the ledger, find me at the docks south of Uhemeria. He has an Egyptian wife. Bayek, take a look around my ship before you go. I keep records of local problems which may have the crocodile at their root. Oh, interesting. They may interest you as a Magi. Okay, cool. I like doing these kinds of things. Entire villages of people in the Dionysus. Wait, how Entire I... villages of people have disappeared in Pisenharis. There are rumors at the caravanserai that demons have invaded. Demons? I have never seen one. I should check this out. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Level 39? Who is this shrine dedicated to? I am praying for the people killed by fires in Dionysius. Someone is burning down their farms. You, Magi, could help to stop it. I will try to help. What's this one? Level 36. You don't. Why? Why are these so high level? What are you doing? A mysterious plague has struck the poor in Uhemeria. Their bodies are being burned, cursing their souls for eternity. They will never reach the field of reeds. I am trying to find a cure for them. There is always a cure. I just need the right combination. Burning the dead? What madness is this? Well, you burn the dead, I guess, to prevent sickness, but I could do that one. Which... Oh, boy. Okay, let's fast travel, actually. 
Okay, so. Do I have my inventory? Oh, a doll. Perfect. So, holy cow. What level? I'm 29! And you only have to be like level 20 to do the croc 25 to do the crocodile? What the frick? These are way high. Yikes! Okay. Ooh, down, down here? Oh, I have not even... I haven't gotten any of these? Uh, wow. Okay. I guess I'll just fast travel here. And ride my camel. That's kind of good though. I, I did want to get to the crocodile sooner rather than later and I tend to feel obligated to do the little side quest first. But if I can only do the one, then that's fine. The rest of them being so high level is so weird. I'm not sure why that was... why that was decided to do that way. Maybe just to give you more options for late game stuff when you're really high level, but... Oh, not this guy again. Oh, uh. <laughs> I heard people like, ah! This is one of the first... One of the two... Viewpoints in the area that I haven't gotten. But, I mean, you can already see that this place is, like... In really bad shape. So it seems like what they've been doing is they're like pretending that they, uh, for some reason they're coming into an area and being like, oh, our farming methods will get more done, even though these people have been farming the land a certain way for, you know, a thousand years or more, and that's what's working. Um, but what they want to do is, you know, they want to get more out of it. So they do it, it, the Greeks, you know, or the crocodile rather, are doing are farming in such a way that they think will give them more money, but it's gonna use up the land and it's not a sustainable, it's not a sustainable way to farm in the desert. Cause the Greeks obviously Whoa. farm a different way in their home. Or did we, I don't know. It actually, did it, se did it select? Okay. Oh, come on. Whoa. So yeah, so with the crocodile, it looks like we're, we're dealing with like, like with some of them, like each one it was a little bit different, um, like what they were taking and what their goals were. So it looks like the crocodile is abusing farmland, basically, like taking it from the Egyptians and making them work it without giving them money, and like this. And it's all dried and dead, and it's ways it's, it's not sustainable. So, like, I don't know why you'd want to make more money. And they're like, I don't know. Just, oh, this is, like, falling over. Jeez. So, I don't know. It's a bit... Some of it doesn't really make sense why people would do that, but, I mean, everybody does that now in the modern world. They farm unsustainably. So, you know, it's just way the people in power decide to get more money, I guess, at the expense of everybody else. Dionysus. Ooh, what are these flowers? Those are pretty. I feel like my frames are not doing super great right now. Is it for fun or is it a festival? This is a Ooh. pretty area. Cool beans. Oh, they're like sorting the grains. Okay. I believe. This is neat. So 
So this area is doing better because it's not a farm. And then there's like specifically in the desert on the Nile, there's a really there's a really like set standard for farming here that makes use of the the annual river floods and stuff, you know? Can't just farm it like you would the Midwest or something. Euphemera? Maria? Euphemera? This is where the sick people are? That's what it seems like. Burning corpses. Oh boy. This is blasphemy. Oh yeah. Who did this? Oh boy. Uh oh. Hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. Okay. Investigate. Because I'm gonna know. She's a healer. What the heck? No, I'm, uh, I'm just a... Uh, I'm just a uh, midget. I don't know anything about sickness. Maybe I do. My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your nourishment. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. You're poisoning the food. Eat with thanksgiving. Another dead and farmer trust whose family will now lose their life. They used ah. to keep at the farmer's kitchen in the market. But soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. There are no signs of a plague on the body. It's just poison. These, they're poisoning like the families of farmers so they can... Oh, yes. Get their stuff. These bowls are filthy. What have the villagers been eating? They must have the food stored somewhere. I should have a look around. I mean, they should be able to clean them. They're right next to the water. I mean, like, slums aren't known for their, you know, oh my gosh. This food is rancid. They're Those eating like this? Sheep. It's completely unfit for eating. This what? rule is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made Nobody's it. Nobody's noticed. Nobody smelled rotting Lord food over here. The may take our souls, but we will all rejoice in the field of reeds. The splashing one who came from the great goddess. He who made the herbage green. Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. Oh my gosh. Mighty gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May you should reward you for helping. You should probably tell her that the food is rotten and that you're better off. I passed off. many prosperous farms. Yeah. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, uh, yes. Those are Greek farms. Yeah. The Greeks pay lower taxes so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners oh. die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. There's a lot of quests and stuff here. Tonight, we need to clean this place up and get it running again. Oh! Don't worry. 
I won't let them close down this kitchen. Okay. Uh, I need to talk to her. Kim is uh, the wife of uh, the guy. But I was gonna help with this, because it's the only thing I can do right now without being severely underleveled. How far away does this man live? This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. Yeah, guy. What? Oh. Oh, and I actually... Oh, it just gave me goosebumps thinking about eating that food. Oh, my gosh. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Mm. Some are just more equal than others. <laughs> um... So, he's Egyptian. Wow, you came up there. Good job. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna puke. Ugh. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you've been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. Ah. I do what I can to help. Yeah, I trust you. I have seen your kitchen merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. We're standing in it, man. Now, you're trespassing, and I have the right to protect myself. Men! You, you, really, you really think these two rando guards... If you are reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this. We could have worked this out. Uh-huh. Hey, get over here. Hmm? Hold him off. This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more burning. So they thought it was plague, but it's not. It's just it was just poison. I would think a healer would know the difference between plague and poison, but maybe not. Good. You gonna you gonna go back and uh, not let them eat actual garbage? Ooh, nice. Rich man house got they got some stuff. Like they have, I think this is probably like decent grain that they're literally cooking, like to be bad and like leaving out and letting it rot. Oh, it's disgusting! I'm gonna rob this guy's house blind. If he's got stuff. Well, doesn't look like it. It was just an empty for show house. Alright, time to find Kim. Whoops, sorry. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, daytime is as good a time as any. There's still kites going. Hello, my good woman. Kenut? Yes. Hotepre sent me. I am here to help. And I have your daughter's doll. Great. Oh, I was cute. awaiting word from my man. Thank you. Come. Eat and we can talk. I don't think her family will be safe, though, or his family, rather. Oh, I love my new doll, Bayek. I will name her Iset, and she will be the protector of all Fayum. <laughs> Oh, she... Oh, my God. 
Ever since Hotepres got a hold of that ledger, Bayum has been on edge. Soldiers with torches patrol every night, and this alms kitchen was practically razed to the ground. They have left Shadia and me alone at least. Hotepres has made sure of that. Where is the ledger now? I instructed our most loyal servant to hide it in our villa. They can search the place as many times as they want. They will never find it. Can you take me there? I have been summoned to the lighthouse for another of their routine investigations. Ah, that may not be safe. The Ptolemaic authorities seem to be working with the crocodile. It happens every few days. Don't worry. They wouldn't dare touch someone in an official position. Shadia, show Bayek the way to our home. Uh, I feel like I should go with you. I Come really... on, Uncle Bayek. Okay, hang on. I'm going to change my outfit. So you can see my face. Um, that one looks nice. Yeah. You can see my house from that roof. Follow me. I you really are not should go with you. Heights, I are really you? go with you. Hey, lead on, little one. I will follow. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Did you learn to climb like that? That looks like fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm you. Gonna go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I come up here a lot. Everything looks so beautiful. The people should be happy, but they are not. Don't worry. Your mother and father will look after them. Where is your house? On the hill there. See it? The one with yes. guards on it? And soldiers. Hmm. Thank you, Shadia. You should go back to your mother now. No, don't go It might get dangerous. Don't do that. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. Oh, Isu no. Can fight, you know. No. She will protect me. No, please. La, 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 please, la, child, la, no. Oh, la, no. La, 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 la. Bye, Shadia. You and Iset enjoy your life. Oh, cute. She's been studying. Oh my gosh. She's... If anything happens to her, I'm going to break everything. Oh my gosh. I'm going to... I'm actually like tearing up. Like if something happens to her, I'm going to be so peeved. Ooh, there you are. This place is heavily guarded. Find the ledger. Not yet. But it won't be long. The captain is upstairs questioning the servant. Stupid Egyptian Vlakos. Henut is a marked woman. Loyalty to her will get them killed. See too many. Hey now. Never ever get complacent when there's an assassin running. Oh shoot, they killed, did they kill him? Are you, oh god, they killed him. Oh no. 
Um. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, I don't know what she thought. I that's the thing. He's just like I've protected. Oh my gosh, is that another servant? Or is that no? I think that might be the guy I killed. I don't know. Wow, they killed everybody. Seriously, she hid it in their villa. Like I was gonna say earlier, but like that's like the most obvious place. Like they should have hidden it somewhere out in the desert. You know. Like, it's the most obvious place to put it. Servants tried to barricade the doors. They weren't quick enough. And, and, like, involving other people is dumb. And that's absolutely necessary. And, do I, can I, like... Reach whatever that is. Oh, what? Another one? Your time has come. This is not a place for me. Go, go. Get out of here. Try to get out of here. I'm going to die. Oh, good. people here oh oh my gosh usually it tells me what okay. anyway poison in case somebody else comes in yeah no and it's like plus like obviously if, if the guy is still alive and his family is still alive, they're gonna capture his family to use against him. Like, it's really dumb. He's like, I'm gonna leave so they don't get in trouble. It's like, okay, yeah, no. Oh my gosh, it's Sadie's diary. No, she took the doll! She did it! Oh my gosh! Rot. Shadia wrote this. She has the ledger. She just... And I sent her back to her mother. I have to find Henot before the soldiers get to her. Oh, Shadia. What have you done, little one? You cannot play games with the crocodile. She didn't know. She's a baby. Okay, I'm murdering every single one of these guys. You die. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, Shadia, 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 Shadia. I will, I will murder everybody. I will murder everybody if something happens to her. She's a baby. She didn't like tell her mom. I got these scrolls, mommy. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Have you seen Hernot? Is she here? The soldiers just came and took her to the lighthouse. Young Shadia, too. Hernot argued with them, but they would not listen. Something is wrong, isn't it? This has never happened before. Get word to Hotefres. Hurry! Oh, damn all this! Hernot and Shadia are at the lighthouse. Okay, I, I need go. to get there now! I go, I go, I go, 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 go! Nack! Oh, I'm gonna cry! Bayuk is like so distressed too! Oh my gosh! If Bayuk is distressed, I don't know what to do! I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna just go so freaking fast. Uh, freaking monsters. Oh god, I don't even. I don't even care. Go away. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm running. I'm going. I'm not. I'm not here for you. I'm going to the lighthouse. I'll deal with you all later. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ruin every single, every single crocodile-owned establishment here. Hey, what's wrong with you? Come here. What have we done? What have you done? The crocodile did this. Did they? No, please! No, please! 
say that when the nightmares come. No! No! No, 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 no! The end has come for you. No! No, my gosh! I'm gonna murder all of you. Did they, they didn't, no, 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 please. Maybe I am. Let me try again. Please, no. Shadia. Oh my gosh. It's not fair. Shadia. It is over. The crocodile has won. The ledger lost. 
my daughter, Vaishadia. He has taken everything from us. He will pay for this. And all those who serve him. None of that will bring Shadia back. No. But at least you'll have the comfort of revenge. We both will. I hope so. I will do anything I can to help you, brother. Has he not been able to tell you anything? Only that there were other men with the soldiers. Large, imposing warriors. One red-haired. Bandits? Soldiers? I believe they were gladiators. From the arena in Crocodilopolis. It seems this... This monster uses fighters to do his bidding. I will find this monster, friend. He will die. My dog heard me though, and he was barking at the door. It was kind of sweet. I had to mute it really quick, but I did not expect that. I mean, Bayagari lost his son, right? So I was hoping that would be, you know, the only one that would happen. I thought she was going to be, I thought I'd be able to save her, but oh my gosh, I know, she was just a baby. <sighs> Attempted to destroy that boat just because it's got a crocodile on it. But, oh my gosh, I just. That's really cruel. That's like kind of came out of nowhere. Like, literally, like a kid dies in this, and you kind of think it's like the only one, you know, that like, that it's not gonna happen again. But it's gone full circle now. Like, Baik was started this so that. And his wife started this revenge quest so that nobody else would lose their child. But once more, it's happened again. So, I don't know. I know you only knew her for a second, but gall dang, that was just, she was just, she was like, she was like so alive. Like, I don't know, like, she had a cute little place she stayed and like little dolls and like, she had all this study stuff, like, she loved drawing with <laughs> cute animals, like, I don't know, it was just... I should have known, right? She was given so much personality in such a quick amount of time. But, yeah, I'm not... This guy, this guy... I don't know how much this killing is actually gonna help, but none of it actually brings anybody back. So it's kind of like, I don't know, but then if you stop, if you stop fighting, then, like, it, it feels like... It feels like you're dead, like you can't, like there's nothing to be done, like that there's no fight left, you can't bring any justice or anything, like I don't know, but like it's just, if you stop fighting, even if you feel like you're dead inside, like, because you've lost somebody, it's like, the only thing you can do at this point is keep fighting, so that way at least you feel like you're doing something. And maybe it's to make it so their death isn't in vain or something or but whatever, but it doesn't matter when it's a child. It's just It's just a waste. But as the as the person left, like 
I mean, I, I know why Bayek's doing what he's doing, because if he stops, it's like, well, what now? Like, this is all he has at this point, basically. And I don't know. I don't know how to make it make more sense, but... Well, if you give up, then nobody's fighting, you know? Like, then every if everybody gives up, nobody's fighting against the person who does this kind of thing, and this person deserves to be punished. So... I don't know. So I tried to record more at this point. Uh, I only ended up, but my timing was all off and I only got like 20 more minutes of worth of stuff. So I couldn't, there was nowhere to cut this 40 minute episode at any point really to make it smaller. So I apologize for this slightly, you know, longer than usual length. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry to end it on kind of a sad note as well. I try, I tried to keep going because I was like, this is a weird place to cut it off because I'm sad. But um, after this, we, we will keep uh, hunting down the crocodile. And I appreciate you watching. Sorry again to end it on a sad place. We'll pick it back up. We'll, we'll be happy again. But uh, for now, this was, this was definitely a somber moment in a game. And I can appreciate those. And I'm also... You know, I'm also like, why did you do this to me? But, you know, they're they're there for a reason. So, I, I hope you all... I don't know if I can say enjoyed, <laughs> but um, thank you for watching. I'll just say that. I appreciate that. Um, I will see you in the next one, and we will pick things up, and things will get happier, I promise.